What's up guys, Boogie here. So today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to be asking Chat GDP for those of you who have heard about it. It's the AI, you know, artificial intelligence um, like platform that, you know, I guess it has some, it gives so much information. It compares data from, you know, different sources out there on the internet and then, you know, it puts it together and then gives you like a, a good list or a good summary of whatever you're looking for. So today I'm going to be asking chat G GP GPT for dating, marriage, relationship advice. And just to see what it says, you know, obviously I'm going to start off with the main one that people keep talking about is the divorce, divorce rate in America. And, you know, if men should keep getting married or not, um, the benefits. All right. So let's start off with... Um, so I'm going to type in and say, what is the current uh, percentage divorce rate in America? Um, you know what? I'm also going to add, and who initiates divorce more uh no matter of fact let me say which gender and which gender initiates divorce more according to public statistics so let's see what Chat GPT says. So Chat GPT says, as of my knowledge, cut off in 2021. So guys, I, I've seen people say that it gets data not too far from long ago, but as you can see, it says, as of my knowledge, uh, divorce rate is 40 to 50 percent. Okay, that's close to what you know most people say it is. They say a uh, divorce rate in America is about 50 percent. You know, or forty percent, forty to fifty percent. So, which means, if you get married in America, there's a fifty percent chance you'll be divorced. And it keeps it says. It, it's difficult to say as there is no clear consensus on the matter. Some studies have found that women initiate divorce slightly more often than men, while others have found opposite or roughly equal. Okay, blah blah blah. So, but it also says a very important factor. Factors such as age, education level, and the reason for divorce can also play a role. I've also <clears throat> seen people on the internet say, apparently there's a study that if a, a lady is college educated, the divorce rate or chances of her divorcing her husband goes from 50 to almost 90%. I don't know the validity of that. Now, I'm going to ask Chad GPT. So, given the high the high likelihood of the of divorce would you advise a man getting married in America Let's see what it says. As an AI, I do not have personal opinions, blah, blah, blah. I can say that likelihood of divorce should not be the only factor considered. Okay. So you're saying, Mr. Artificial Intelligence, that people shouldn't, should not consider the fact that there's a high divorce rate. And then it says marriage is a personal and deeply individual choice. And then... It says, ultimately, the decision to get married should be based on the love and commitment. And I disagree. Marriage is a business contract. So if in any business, you're just going to use emotions and feelings rather than logic and seeing the risks. So obviously, here we can see that chat GPT, artificial intelligence, gives some, I could say, very uh, questionable advice all right and biases but let's keep going so i'm gonna ask what 
are the risks of marriage in America to men. You know what? Should I say to men or should I? Let me just give it op open, so I have no, so there's no bias. Let's see what artificial intelligence says. All right, so marriage, just like any relationship, it comes with both benefits and risks. Some risk says divorce, 40 to 50 percent likelihood, and then financial strain. Okay, some people may have bad spending habits, infidelity, so cheating is a risk, communication breakdown is a risk, power imbalances. So in marriages, one partner may have more power or control over decision-making, which can lead to feelings of resentment or dissatisfaction. But I think with a thing of power uh, imbalance, I think there's got to be a leader. Whether it's a man or woman, that's your dynamic to choose. But I think whoever makes more money and brings more to the table ultimately may have the final say in different situations. So, But it says it's important to know that these risks are not unique to marriage in America and can be present in any relationship. It's also worth considering that there are also many benefits to marriage. See, and this is what's confusing about chat G G GPT. Because when you ask it certain questions, it says it's an AI and doesn't give advice. But now I asked about the risks and then it turns around to tell me about the benefits. So it's like at one point it doesn't want to go all the way in to tell me exactly what I want to know. And it tries to act like it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's not biased or it's... it's uh, it's right in the middle. It has no opinions on something. It, it claims it's an AI. But when I ask about the risks, it goes on to mention the benefits. Like, I didn't ask you for the benefits. I asked you for risks for a reason. But now, here you are telling, telling me about the benefits. I didn't ask about the benefits. You shouldn't push. It's like it's pushing an agenda on you whenever you ask a question that it doesn't find positive. You know what I mean? It's like, so... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't like the fact that it has to give me benefits. I ask for risks for a reason. I don't want to know the benefits right now. Okay, so let me ask you the final question. Um, should a man, because you know, apparently men lose so much when they get divorced, like half their income, half their assets, lose child custody and all that, should... Okay, so let me let me ask it a question to see if it's going to be fair or it's going to tell me I'm an AI, I'm an artificial intelligence, so I can't give my opinion. Well, you just gave me your opinion about the benefits that I didn't ask about. So let's see. Is it fair that a man should lose half his assets after divorce? Let's see what it says. It claims it's uh, the division of assets during a divorce can vary depending on jurisdiction. Um, states the general principle is that states assets acquired during the marriage are considered marital property. Okay, whether it's fair is subjective on one's beliefs. Uh, recognizes other belief. Okay. Ultimately, the division of assets in the divorce is to get determined by the court. Okay. It's important for individuals going through a divorce to seek the advice of a... Okay, that's good advice. I mean, yeah, it's the prenups and everything. That's good. I'm going to ask you about the prenup, but it will be the next video. All right? Comment down below what you guys think. Should people turn to chat GPT AI? for dating advice and marriage advice or do you guys think it's always going to be you know biased on one way or with one side let me know because let me know what you think in the comments below